Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Sorry guys, I got a little bit carried away with the intro, not gonna lie. <laughs> so first of all, I'm just gonna grab my Olay Beauty Fluid Moisturiser and I'm just gonna moisturise my face, of course. And then I'm using this Makeup Forever Primer, which has actually been really good. I've never used Makeup Forever... Oh, Bambi was just snoring, sorry about that. I've never used Makeup Forever products before, so this was really interesting to try. And then I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. I mean, I've never used this foundation before, have I? <laughs> sorry, I use this all the time. I cannot help myself. I just... It just gets better every time I use it, so... If you have your favourite foundations, then let me know in the comments because I know you guys are like, you use that all the time. Um, moving on to concealer, I'm just going to grab my favourite again, which I use all the time, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. Now I am obsessed with this concealer. I like to use the Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Concealer in the summer because the consistency is a lot thinner. But in the winter, my bags just like to come out and it's just awful. So this consistency is a little bit thicker. It sort of reminds me of the NARS Creamy Concealer, which I love. And I'm just going to buff that in with my Damp Beauty Blender. So after I've done that, I'm just going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This bit was upside down. And I'm just going to pack it on. I'm not going to do it the whole way because I'm going to add highlighter, like this liquid highlighter, you'll see in a minute. So I'm just going to pop it underneath my creases of my eyes, just so they don't crease or anything like that. And then I'm going to grab this Topshop uh, Glow Pot in Polished. And it is a really creamy formula, so this is why I haven't put any powder there, otherwise it will go patchy. So you, it's best to have a wet base. And then I'm just going to pop quite a lot on and then just use my Beauty Blender that I was using before just to buff that in. So this also has a bit of concealer on as well, so it's really, really good because this all blends nicely together. And then I'm going to use this Naked Illuminating Highlighter Palette and mix the first two shades with this Vanity Planet Fan Brush. I have got a code, guys, um, for 70% off this 15-piece brush set from Vanity Planet, which I love. I go on about it so much. I love it so much. Um, so I'll leave that in the description. And then I used the BH Cosmetics Highlighter and then I'm going to go in and powder my whole face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Sorry, my camera keeps jolting a little bit so I don't really know what I'm saying. <laughs> And then after that, I'm just going to grab my NYX Contour Kit and I'm going to use the bottom two right shades. And I'm just going to bronze and contour my face like the huge. I think this brush is from Sigma, I think. From what I can see, I think it is. Um, and I'm just going to do what I usually do. I like to be extra bronze because... I'm extra pale. <laughs> By the way, guys, I don't fake tan. A lot of you are like, your face is white. Do you fake tan? No, basically, in the summer, I don't tan like my face. So it's really, really weird. So I always have a white face. Um, and then I'm going to add some highlighter from the NYX Contour Kit as well on top of that. And then I'm moving on to my eyes. I'm just going to prime them and set them in place with the um, concealer that I was using before. And then also the same powder I was using before. And then I'm going to base this look around the Kylie Bible palette. Using this first shade here, I'm going to coat that over my entire eyes. Just so I have a really good base to work with. And I love this colour. Then move it, moving on. Moving on to this middle shade. And this BH brush. I don't know what number it is. It rubbed off. Um, I'm just going to lightly buff that into my crease. And sort of drag it upwards and downwards a little bit. And then I'm going to get an angle blending brush and just blend that colour outwards and upwards. Just, just blending. You don't want it to be too harsh. I mean, if you swatch it, it can be really, really, really harsh. But I try to do it as light as possible because I don't want this look to be taken away by the eyes. I want to aim this look on the lips. So I've only added a little bit of makeup. Um, and then I'm going to add the second shade to highlight my tear duct. And then I'm going to move on to a brush with the same shade and do the same thing to my brow bone. 
I don't know why I said that really posh. <laughs> Brow bone. <laughs> and then I'm going to move on to this gold shade here. I find myself hilarious. And I'm just going to pop that on my lower lash line. I'm not going to go all the way. Probably about three quarters of the way. Just to add a little bit of gold. You've got to have gold. And then moving on to this Rimmel liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to do my usual wing that I always do. A lot of you guys are like, how do you do it? But honestly, it literally just takes practice. It took me years to do it now, like, really quick. Um, this bit is fast, by the way. I'm not just, like, quick at it. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to grab my L'Oreal Telescopic. I love this. Uh, I'm in a really weird mood. Um, and I'm just going to pop a really, really generous amount onto my lashes. Now using these, I think it says creme, is it how, you, I don't know how you say it, but anyway, I got them from TK Maxx, and you can probably get them online, they are identical to the Red Cherry Wispies by the way, so if you can't find them, just get the Red Cherry Wispies, and I'm just going to pop those on, and then I'm also going to pop some mascara to my bottom lashes, because I look weird if I don't apply it to my bottom lashes, then moving on to one of my favourite Kiko blushes in the shade 2, um, I'm just going to pop this onto my cheek because that's where you put blush up. <laughs> oh, and then I'm going to use three different lipsticks. Um, I will leave all of them in the description below. I'll leave everything I use in the description below, by the way, so you guys get to know. And you can just click away if you want to buy anything. So first of all, I'm going to grab the eye, the eyeliner. What am I saying? The, lip, the What is it? Lip liner. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. I'm lining my lips and then I'm going to go in with the Kate Moss 111 lipstick. This is matte, but it's a really creamy matte. I love it. And then I'm moving on to this MUA liquid lipstick. It's a little bit darker than the actual lipstick I was using before. And then I'm going to go in with the, I keep wanting to say eyeliner, lip liner again, just to create sort of an ombre effect, but I don't want it to be too ombre. It's sort of just to darken the colours up a little bit. And then I'm going to neaten that up with the concealer I was using before and then just blend that in really, really lightly. You don't want it to be like a sharp line. And then I'm using this Revolution. This is the setting spray and I'm going to spray my, I think there's some real techniques, this brush. Um, and I'm just going to spray that onto the brush and then go back with the Naked Highlighters, which are from Urban Decay. And this just makes the colours more vibrant. So anyway guys, this is the final result. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't worry, I will be doing a lot more Christmas makeup tutorials. But this was just the first classic one I wanted to do because I know you guys like them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!